They say the tiger snake looks angry, like it's ready for a fight, like it wants to do you harm. It looks fierce and aggressive. But here's the thing, we're reading the language all wrong. Let me draw you a simple diagram. This is a happy face. This is a sad face. And this is an angry face. Or at least that's how we think things are. But in nature, it's not the case. Snakes don't have eyelids. They can't shut their eyes as they're going through the bush. They don't blink and they don't frown. They don't raise an eyebrow or narrow their gaze like we do. We project our human expression on creatures like we're reading a comic book. See this? This is the scale that covers their eye. It's clear, like an inbuilt contact lens, like a little window into the world. They live low to the ground, in dirt, in scrub, in spiky grass. So nature gave them a shield, a heavy brow ridge, to stop their little lens getting scratched. We look at that and think, they're angry. Look at the glare. It's not angry, it's alert, it's cautious, probably hoping you'll leave it alone. You see, you're not looking properly, you're seeing a motion where there's anatomy. This face, it's not a monster, it's a masterpiece in design. A creature nature has perfectly designed for its environment. When we stop trying to make snakes like us, there might be a chance we see them for what they really are. It's not an angry snake. It's just a snake. We're the ones that bring the baggage.